Looking for a magical destination for your Christmas trip? Let's explore everything Madrid has to offer this holiday season. Today we're diving into everything we need to know about experiencing Christmas in Madrid. We'll chat about the weather so you know exactly what to pack, the must-try holiday treats, and where to catch Madrid's most dazzling Christmas lights. I'll also fill you in on festive events happening all over the city. So whether you're a local or just visiting, you'll know where to be to feel the holiday spirit. Make sure you stick around until the end because I will be telling you what to expect and keep in mind if you're visiting on the 25th when most places are closed for Christmas. Before we get into it, to make your trip even easier, we've put together a detailed three-day Christmas itinerary for Madrid with everything you need. It's got pre-made Google Maps with custom pins for each day, a budget breakdown so you'll know what to expect each day, and tips on getting around the city by foot or metro. So if you're looking to travel to Madrid this holiday season and want to avoid the stress of planning, this guide has you covered. On with the video! Is Christmas a good time to visit Madrid? Well, winters in Madrid are cold and dry with little snowfall except in the mountains, which we'll get into later. January, the coldest month, sees average temperatures dipping to around 3 degrees Celsius. December temperatures range between 4 and 10 degrees Celsius. Be sure to pack warm winter and thermal clothing, especially layers, as you'll often be moving between chilly outdoor air and heated indoor spaces. This way, you'll stay comfortable wherever you are. You've probably heard that Madrid can get pretty crowded during the festive season. And as people who live here, we can vouch for that. Especially in Gran Vía, where there is no space to even breathe. Forget Christmas shopping. However, most places, although crowded, are still enjoyable and this is still a great time to visit Madrid. Pro tip, always make reservations for the restaurants that you plan to visit, as this is a prime dining season for locals. You've got your coat on and you're in Madrid. So now, what do you do? First on the list is definitely see the Christmas lights. Mark your calendars, this year's turning on of the Christmas lights will take place on November 28th at 7pm in Puerta del Sol and will be on until January 5th. Here, a massive Christmas tree lights up the heart of the square. Each year, thousands gather to experience this magical moment together, kicking off the festive season. More places you can see the lights are Paseo del Prado to see La Gran Menina Luminosa, a typical figure you see often in Madrid that represents the female characters in Velázquez's paintings, the Salamanca neighborhood, especially Calle Jorge Juan, Calle Serrano, Calle Velázquez. These sophisticated streets go all out with classy Christmas decor on their storefronts. Plaza Colón, where this year we can admire the giant 10 meter high 3D manger made out of 20,000 light bulbs. Also, every year, the giant Gran Bola de Navidad, it's a big 3D Christmas ornament standing in front of the Metropolis building on the corner of Gran Vía and Alcala. It features 43,000 LED lights and the lights of the sphere will be programmed and synchronized with sound. Although some years, you can also see it in Plaza de España in the Jardines de Sabatini. So make sure you stop by both locations. Also, you must stop by the Four Seasons building close to the Sevilla metro station. They create a huge, breathtaking Christmas tree-like display on its facade. A great way to see the lights is from the Navi Luz night bus. It's a great way to see all the lights of the city but take warm clothes. It's an open-top bus so it can get quite chilly. Second on our list are, of course, the Christmas markets. Let's start off with our personal favorite, La Navideña in Plaza de España. At this Christmas market, you'll find 40 craft and product sales stores, as well as food stalls like the San Ginés. It's a popular place to get churros and chocolate. There is also an ice rink and entertainment, and the views of the tall city buildings are really impressive too. Next on the list is the oldest Christmas market in Madrid, the one in Plaza Mayor. Enjoy 104 red huts selling decorations, prank items, manger figurines, and more. There isn't usually much to eat at this market, but the best Christmas market in Madrid to get food is the Mercadillo de Navidad, El Corte Inglés, in Nuevos Ministerios. It is so pretty and the food is prepared by renowned chefs with many gourmet food trucks and stalls with so much variety to choose from. You can even buy high quality ornaments and send a letter to Santa here. Be where though it gets really crowded but definitely still enjoyable last but certainly not least we recommend you spend some time at the christmas market in plaza de colon surrounded by stunning city views it has a charming ice rink with a christmas tree in the middle and a few stalls with mulled wine and different trinkets you can buy definitely check out the blog post link in the description for an extended list of ice rinks to explore during your visit need more things to do let's dive into some festive events you won't want to miss on your trip 
If you or someone in your family is into running, join the event where more than 6,000 participants race through the city streets dressed as Santa Claus. It takes runners through iconic landmarks and is open to participants of all abilities. Last year, we didn't run, but it was still fun to watch and support the rest of our family and the other runners. Next is Navidades Magicas de Torrejón, a park that turns into a magical Christmas wonderland filled with rides, entertainment, food stalls, an ice rink on a lake, and more. Where? You can find this at the Recinto Ferial in Torrejón de Ardos, right next to the train station. Next is the Naturaleza Encendida at Parque Enrique Tierno Galván. It's an outdoor immersive light display at night that makes you feel like you've stepped into a neon version of Alice in Wonderland. Tickets are available from the 4th of November and run out quite quickly. And of course, how can we not mention Reyes Magos? A big part of Christmas in Spain is the celebration of the Three Kings Day on the 6th of January. It's a vibrant holiday honoring the arrival of the Three Wise Men marked by festive parades, gift-giving, and traditional sweets like the Roscón de Reyes. More on where you can see the parade next. We've included more events in the blog post you should check out, like the new Harry Potts exhibition. There are many places on the outskirts of Madrid that are so worth seeing at this time of year, so definitely consider taking a day trip to one of these places. Number one, Toledo. We love coming here during the Christmas season. It's a quick 35-minute train from the Atocha station. It's a beautiful old city sitting on a hill. Every year they host a charming Christmas market with a carousel, stalls with mulled wine and other festive treats. You can also enjoy a fun Reyes Magos parade and a fireworks show at the end, on the night of the 5th of January. When in Toledo, definitely try their traditional marzipan treats. Next, San Lorenzo del Escorial. It offers a lovely Christmas experience, highlighted for the last 25 years by the Belén Monumental, a grand nativity scene. This beautiful display will be open to visitors from December 8th to January the 7th. If you have time, definitely book tickets to see inside the monastery, especially the basilica. It is breathtaking. Here are some festive foods you need to try and the best places where you can find them. Definitely try some churros con chocolate at Restaurante Ultramarinos Quintín or San Ginés. Founded in 1890, San Ginés is a cafe located in the heart of Madrid that is famous for its churros and hot chocolate, aka chocolate caliente, opened until the early hours of the morning. If you have ever visited Spain during Christmas, you would have seen turrón sold almost everywhere. Turrón is a southern European nougat confection. It is typically made of honey, sugar and egg whites with toasted almonds and usually shaped into rectangular bars. Torrón's Vicens takes it to another level with their mojito or cheesecake flavors, not to mention the beautiful decor and free samples. Another thing you should try is the Roscón de Reyes at Salvador Bachiller for a gourmet spin on the traditional version, or go to one of Rodilla's coffee shops for a classic Roscón with hot chocolate. And now, what we promised. What to do on Christmas Day when most places are closed. A lot of places are open on the 25th, but potentially with reduced hours. So it's always best to double check on Google, their website, or give them a call. Don't count on any of the Christmas markets being open since they close to allow staff to celebrate with their families. A lot of restaurants close on this day too. So it's best to make a reservation before your trip to make sure they're open and have tables available. Most hotels are open and offer special Christmas menus. Some things you can do, like take a drive to the mountains, explore the city's Christmas lights, book a special meal or attend a church service. For those interested, Madrid has several historic churches that hold Christmas Day Mass, such as Almudena Cathedral near the Royal Palace. It's a great way to experience the culture and architecture of Madrid, even if you're not Catholic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and if you're planning on visiting multiple destinations during the holiday season, consider watching our last video, Top Things to Do at Christmas in Paris where we cover everything you need to know to make the best of your Europe Christmas trip. Safe travels!